All right, as the world gets back to normal, one thing that is likely to stay is virtual events. Virtual events allow you to keep costs low and still host guests from around the world and produce high quality events. So if you're looking to have your virtual events stand out from the pack, we have a few tips for you in today's video. All right, if you're a viewer or producer, nothing is worse than hearing we're having technical difficulties. So in your pre-production plan, make sure to set up a time period where you're gonna do tech rehearsals with your hosts or guests. You wanna make sure that they know how to use their camera, their microphone, or removing things like noise in the background. And also set up a call time during the show at least 15 minutes before they go live to do that one final check. And finally, if they're gonna be showing anything like videos or slides, have them send you a copy so you can actually have it as a backup or just play it yourself so they have one less thing to manage on their own. So while your speakers might be experts in their fields, they might not know that much about live stream production. So you've probably seen tons of shows where the speakers have a messy background or they're off focus from the camera a bit. So you can actually help fix this with Expert VCam. So with Expert VCam, you can actually remove or replace their background and you can standardize their background so the show looks pretty uniform. And you can also enable auto framing so you can make sure that they're always in the center of the frame. And what's even better is with the team license manager, you can bulk purchase VCAM licenses, send them out a license through their email. They go ahead and download and activate it. And then you can set globally whatever background you want them to use. So one of the great things about virtual events is that it's easy to interact with and moderate the audience. So of course everyone has a chat, but there's also tools like polls depending on the platform. So what you can encourage your speaker to do is to maybe incorporate some slides where they ask a question to the audience and they'll react with emojis and you can use things like the Facebook poll source to show these reactions. You can actually also show your speaker the chat as well and they can ask questions, have a Q&A at the end. But just be careful and make sure that if it's a controversial topic that you have moderators to control the chat in case it becomes unruly. So one quick tip is to make sure to post your schedule in as many places as possible. Look for different sections of the platform you're using where you can post the schedule in the chat with the chat bot. Put it up on screen as much as you can. Trust me, it'll save your viewers and your moderators a lot of headaches when people keep asking when this is happening or when that is happening. So if you're uploading VODs of your event, you can make your life a lot easier or your editor's life a lot easier by allowing VODs be split by either time or file size. So you can do this in the local recording settings. So something that I think is maybe overlooked way too much for corporate events is not bringing on a good host. So a lot of times you'll be recommended like using staff that's maybe been on camera once or twice, but a good host can really save a bad show and vice versa. So definitely recommend that they put a budget for a host. They can help you kill time, make things more interesting or move things along. Make sure things don't go over time, which means it goes over budget. Always recommend it to work with a good host. So that's all of our tips for improving virtual events. Do you have any tips of your own? What things have you run into running your own events? Let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like videos like this and see you on the next one.